ain't saying about to hop in this hospital, bro. I just wanted to ask you if you could lead us in a little bit of prayer this morning. Oh, yeah, most definitely, bro. The Lord, I thank you again for another day, Lord. Thank you for another day of life. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. For real? Even in the the rough times, Lord Jesus, that you'll give them strength, you'll give them joy, you'll give them love, you'll give them power, Lord Jesus, that all comes from you. Grandpa, <laughs> you are <laughs> we just thank you, Lord Jesus, that everything will be, you know, everything will come out right, Lord Jesus, you're a healthy baby, Lord. Yeah, I didn't see that, no. Wait, why is it when parents think that's so good? Love, joy, laughter, peace, Lord. All the fruits of the spirit that are inside this child, Lord Jesus. <laughs> right, I gotta get one. I'm, I gotta get one. Okay. On the count of three, everybody say Sam's pregnant. Oh! These are all blessings we ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Children gang. Long story short, it's about to go down. As y'all can see, we're at the hospital now. Basically, we went in for our 39 week appointment on Tuesday. Today is now Friday, August 17th. When they did the checkup, everything was fine. As y'all know from the prior videos, I'm tall, my wife is short, I'm 6'3", she's 5 feet tall, and they did a estimate of the baby's weight at the time on Tuesday, and he was estimated to be about 7 pounds, 11 ounces, so AJ's going to be kind of on the big end for a small person like Sam, so the doctor recommended that we get induced this week, hence why we're here today. So Sam is going to be induced this morning, and... About to go down. I just stay tuned. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, you're oh, he just moved. Yeah. He just moved. I keep saying he, he get that right. <laughs> we in the room. We got Ben here. Pulling us down. They got it hooked up to the machine. Gang shit. She um being induced, so she's gonna start to contract slowly. And I don't know if I'm saying this right. Her cervix is gonna open slowly. So we could be here all day. I asked the hospital, could we record? They was like, nah, so I'm gonna have to finagle something, but don't worry, they can't hold me down. Definitely in here chilling. And this could be a long day. Anything you wanna say, AJ? Two, Two one! one. <laughs> Sam, doing good. Take it like a G. Chris, we'll meet you over there. Oh, Chris with the food. Appreciate you. Go! <laughs> push! 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 There's some more visitors. Got grandma, auntie. Big mama still holding it down. It's about 7 o'clock. It's been going. What are you doing? <laughs> it's been <laughs> been going a total of about almost thirty hours since we've been here. I 
I want to say thanks for watching the video of my son's birth. I stopped the footage at that point in time, basically because things got kind of hectic in the moment. Um, at that point in time, when my wife was pushing, we had an incident where we were pushing. While she was pushing through her contractions, AJ's heart rate was dropping tremendously low, like it dropped under 50 um, beats per minute over the span of one minute and it happened like five times. The doctor said that was like we, we couldn't continue to do that. so. She recommended an emergency C-section. At that point in time, I mean, it was a, it was. If you haven't been in that type of situation, it was it was very very scary. Cause, I mean, we went from planning on pushing our son out for nine months to saying she had to be cut open in the next 15 minutes. So it was very very scary. Um, you know, my wife was she was stressed out. You know, I could see in her eyes she was stressed out about what was going on. I was playing my role as husband, trying to stay strong, telling everything was gonna be okay. But in the back of my mind, I was I was as terrified as she was. They took her to the operation room and um, they performed. <sighs> they performed a C-section. She had the plastic up, so she really couldn't see what was going on. Um, I was on the side of the plastic with her, and um, they they basically cut her open. They cut her open right in front of me. About five minutes later, they pulled our son out of her stomach, and I, I saw it. And I mean, I saw him, Adriel. He was seven pounds, seven ounces, twenty-one inches long. And after they cleaned him up, they asked me, you know, do I want to hold him? And I told him no. That's that was my wife's. That's my wife's job to hold him first. I'm I'm the first one to see him, but she has to be the first one to hold him. I mean, I'm not going to take that away from her. She carried him for nine months. So they took her back in there, and they took him back in there. And um, that was the first time me, my wife, and our son were together. Today is now Monday. He was born on August 18th, 2018, at 12:57 in the morning. That was early Saturday morning. Um, we've been in the hospital since then. We're actually leaving today, so the room is kind of cleared up now. My wife has been just basically resting due to the the, the, the C-section. I've been trying to help her everywhere I can. Now the moment that everybody's been waiting for, you guys can hear him in the background probably. I want to introduce you to the son of me and my wife. This is Adriel Jadiarol. Um and here he is. <laughs> AJ, you okay? Open your eyes, boy. Daddy's right here. Don't cry. Don't cry. Mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. Mommy's coming. Look at that big boy. He Mommy's coming. He's not coming out. Come on, Daddy. Who you look like, baby? Who? 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 Who?